working on this Vizio TV here. Um, not that long ago, I had uh, a lightning strike up the road here, and it blew out the TV and one other thing in the house. And uh, so I've taken it apart to see what I was, uh, what blew, what what I needed. I thought maybe it might be a fuse or something. So I'll show that here in a second. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. I'm taking it apart and putting it back together. Well, taking it apart and repairing it and putting it back together and show it functioning. So you're gonna get the full disassembly, repair and reassembly. All right, so what I've done is I've stolen the couch cushion off our couch and I'm using that to, as a working surface for the TV. All right. So really for the first part of this, the only thing you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to take the feet off first which is just two screws on each side. And for obvious reasons, the pillow is for uh, protecting the screen instead of doing it on the tabletop or something, scratch it. All right, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take out the two screws here that hold the back to the, the circuit panel underneath, the screw over here that holds it towards the to the power port, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 screws that go all the way around it. I think there's 11. I'll recount them as I take them out. So um, I'm gonna start taking them out and we'll just pause the video while I take all these screws out. All right, I loosened all the screws and all I'm doing here is I'm going along, of course, use a magnetic screwdriver. It makes it easier to get them out. Okay. <clears throat> All the outside screws are those little ones. So that's all the out, outside screws and the one for the power port it sits on it. Um, down here in the bottom, two screws that are larger. And then over here, the two screws in this panel are a different kind of, they're a beveled head screw. They're a beveled head screw that Counter, it, it will sink counter flush or flush with the top, you know what I mean. <laughs> Once all the screws are out, we're ready to separate the plastic housing. And this whole housing comes off as one piece, but you can't just rip it off and throw it. You need to just take it off carefully because you have the power switch over here as wires connected, and the power switch is like molded to the case. You can't actually remove it, it, you know, it, it it's a whole thing in itself. So to remove the case, you're going to want to get yourself a flathead screwdriver and you're going to want to turn the TV around. I'm going to show it from here. You're going to want to start it from the bottom. All right. You want to get your fingernail if you can. It's pretty tight. Get it open a little bit and then get your screwdriver and kind of push in on it and get it to release. There's a little tab on this corner. I think there's one in the center here. And then one over in this corner. But we're going to start in this corner. You see the tab? You're going to want to basically get in under and lift the case a little bit to get it to, to pop to release it. You, either that or push along the edge to kind of push inwards. But you don't want to like force it to break this. Um, then work your way down the edge. do this without losing the TV on the floor you work your way down the edge now but being I already had this apart it's a little easier because the tabs and actually on this for me this tab in this corner that looked like this one here the piece snapped off of it so this this tab 
can see it was right here that the upper piece snapped off of it so it, some things are unavoidable when you know the factory doesn't want you messing with these so you just work your way around the edge and get yourself back so we're back down to the bottom here that one and then there's one in the center here somewhere or two let's see one. all right I think we got them all all right all right now I'm gonna lift the case for a second like this I'll show you what I was saying This is why you gotta be careful when you're doing this because your power, it's like molded into this case. So I'm just gonna lift this tape a little bit. Give me a little slack on this, this wire here for this. All right. Position this in a way. Hopefully I don't lose anything. Otherwise, it you know, to disconnect that wire, it runs up under here. It's all taped in through all this. You could disconnect it and take this and separate it, but I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to do is mess with this panel. Now, when I was saying about the fuse, there's a fuse in here. Now, the power is disconnected. There's a fuse right here. You could check to see if that's blown. And you would do by taking getting the voltmeter. Now we're disconnected, so you're not going to get any reading here. But you're going to want to take and, and go to a ground, and then you're going to test one side of the fuse to the other side, see if power is coming in through the outlet going into the fuse to go into the board, just to see if the fuse is working before you even look at the board. But I've already looked at the board, and the board's blown up. And I'll show you here in a second exactly what I mean. But in the meantime, I'm going to disconnect. Push down a little tab, disconnect these cables. All right, and then get your Phillips head screwdriver. Now, yeah, you probably could get one of those grounding mats to ground yourself to this. Um, don't run around the house on your carpet and create static electricity before you come in here and start touching all this stuff. So I don't have a grounding mat. And the TV's already blown up, so I can't hurt it any worse than it actually is. Let's see here. Okay. So our power board is disconnected. Now, what I want to show you is the first thing I noticed here, and actually, before I do that, order in the mail, came in the mail, the reason I say I took this apart, I gotta sharpen my knife, the reason I say I gotta take this apart um, first is because I had to get the model number off the circuit board because the, the power boards are all different. So I had to get the model number off of it just to be able to find a replacement. Jeez, well, at least they packed it well.
Okay. So, my packing slip for replacement board. And what I will show you here is, if you take a look at this, this first thing I noticed is, you see that? Okay. The old board, the top of it's blown off. So that's the first thing I noticed. Okay. So and now I go to flipping it, the board over. Okay. Let's see if we can spot it on here on the board. It's kind of difficult to see. Um, I can edit this. Where's it at here? All right. So when you flip over the board, right in here, that's blown apart. I think that one's blown apart. That one's blown apart. These little circuits, these little, they're little fuses on board or, you know, there's different transistors. Who knows what damage the power had, you know, when the lightning struck down the road what it did to this board. I mean, it, it surged it and blew out. Well, you can see, visually see, it's blown pieces of the board out, blown parts of the circuit board out. All right, so, got our new board. Um, what do we pay, 17 bucks for it? I think so. I think I paid $17 for it. So, the guy guaranteed it works. He came out of TV with a cracked screen so I'm just going to put the new board back in, plug it in, put the TV back together, and cross my fingers, we should be good to go. All right, so these two screws for this, uh, where the, the outlet, the power cord plugs in is uh they're they're longer than the rest of the screws All right, we got our screws back in. And they're they're tight. Plug in our two cables here. Make sure they're all the way in flush. Then just put our case back on. Push it together, snap it back together. Put your screws in. All right, I've got all the outer screws tighten they're all the same one and the one by the power plug is the same one now I'm gonna take the ones with the tapered flush head put these two in it's on top of no, upside down <laughs> Two longer screws. Now I, I could have plugged it in as soon as I snapped the cases together. I could have plugged it in and tested it, but I figured, what's the point? If I if the motherboard's bad, I gotta take it all apart anyway. So you know, and I don't have a motherboard. I have to order it. So I figured, put the power board in, see if it works. If it works, then we're good. If it doesn't work, I gotta take it apart. All right, now that all the screws are in, it's back together, the feet are on. I'm just gonna move this out of the way for a second. Cushion, 
Got the power cord, plug into the TV. There it is, fixed. <laughs> Sitting on stuff, screwdrivers. <laughs> Could have felt good. All right, so that's, can you see me on the video? All right, so no signal. Uh, lightning strike blew the power board on this. It's pretty pretty simple fix for it's it. It's moving on its own. Probably because. <laughs> okay. Unless it's tracking. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. It's a pretty simple fix. I mean, I priced both the motherboard and the power board for this TV. I think we paid $200 for the TV brand new. It's a 1080 Vizio 32 inch. Um, for me to buy replacement power board and motherboard, it's like 50 bucks. Uh, I bought the power board figuring it looked like the only thing that was damaged that nothing looked like it was wrong with the uh, motherboard. So I figured, you know what, I'll take the chance. Spent $17 free shipping, got a new power board and I, total time taking it apart and installing and reassembling. If I wasn't recording a video, probably be 10 minutes. You know, it's a pretty easy fix. Um, you know, I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It was a pretty simple fix. So I'm glad it's fixed and I don't have to pull it back apart and put a motherboard in it. And everything seems to be working and I'll hook it up to the cable and test it later another time. So. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, so like, share, subscribe because you never know what I'm going to do next.